Buddy, tonight the Trojans play host to the Williams Valley Vikings on uh, a special night here at the ballpark. It is homecoming, and so they'll have a special uh, homecoming. Well, as you can see, the, the ball clubs are on the field now, and the Trojans will receive the opening kickoff. They won the toss and have elected to receive. They'll send back uh, number two, Enders, and number 20, I think it is, or 21, Whitmer, perhaps, back there. I can't see his one number. At any rate, uh, Williams Valley getting ready to kick off for Williams Valley. <clears throat> Aaron Scheibelhut will do the kicking off for the Vikings. And here's the opening kick of our ball game. Should be a good ball game. Both teams uh, identical in uh, league records. Mace picks it up, runs it out to about the 42 yard line where it'll be put in play first and 10 now for the uh, Trojans in excellent field position at their own 42 yard line. Green goes in as the quarterback tonight for UDA. We have Langans, 59 in there. Uh, uh, Wiest will be the center. In the backfield, of course, uh, Tony Hoover had a great ball game last week at Millersburg. And uh, see if we can get a good ball game out of these guys tonight against these Vikings. First play, he gives it to Hoover. Hoover over the right side. He's got five. He's got more than five down to the 49-yard line of the... Uh, Trojans picking up about eight on the play. It'll be second down and two. Nice run by that Tony Hoover. Second and two. Finds up in the backfield for the Trojans at the fullback spot. Handoff is to Hoover again. Hoover looking for two. He's on his feet. His line is uh, he'll pick up about one yard. His forward progress will take him to the 49 yard line of Williams Valley where it'll be third down and one. Stood Tony up pretty quickly that time as he reached the line of scrimmage. He was able to get one yard out of it, but that's all. This time Mace and uh, Enders will flank out on the near side of the field on his third down and one for UDA from the Williams Valley 49. Hoover gets the call again over the left side. He's got the first down and a couple more all the way down to the 45-yard line. A nice drive that time again by Anthony Hoover. Picked up about Six on the play, or five on the play, something like that. Enough for the first down, and the uh, Trojans reset it now at the 46-yard line of Williams Valley. Motter, the flanker on the near side with Enders this time for UDA on this first and 10. Green will look him over, looking to throw. Throws a little screen out here. It's complete for Enders. Enders with the football down to the 30-yard line. He stays in bounds. And a gain down to the 30-yard line is about a 12 or so yard play, something like that. A nice catch and a good throw from Green to Enders. So Trojans with another big first down, down right, sitting on the 30-yard line of Williams Valley. Hand off again. Here, a nice cut up field by Hoover. Hoover down to the 15 or 20 yard line rather. 
A good run, darn close, if not a first down. See where they mark it. They're going to spot it at the 19. It will be a first down for the Trojans. So the Trojans getting a very good drive going here in the opening moments so of this ball game. Again, getting some good blocking in the line over there, allowing them to spring through that left side. That's in the area over there where that uh, the 61 Brock Stone is located over on that side. Here's a handoff again. This time it's going to be Hoover again. Hoover still on his feet down to the 15. At the 15 yard line, he stopped after a gain of five. Or we're, let's see where they put it. Yeah, he's laying it right on the 15. Gain of five. It'll be second down and five. So Hoover trying the left side and the right side and having success in both. Sim 67 out there. 59, as I mentioned, Lang ends. Weist, that's that uh, Kyle Weist. Oh, there's a ball fumbled but picked up. You can see him scoop it back in. Right at about the line of scrimmage. Third down and five for UDA. So the Trojans escape a disaster there as they coughed it up but were able to recover it and maintain control of the football. Enders and Mace, the flankers on the near side. A tight end on the far side of the field is Calva. He's got to throw. Look at the pass. Green has some. He's got to throw this one out of there. Good move by Stephen Green. There's a lot of pressure put on him that time by the Vikings. And our man was covered, so they just threw that one kind of out of bounds and brings up a fourth down. So it's fourth. And five from the 15 yard line. Now we haven't given the ball to the Vikings yet. We don't want to do it here for sure. They'll put Motter, Enders, and Mace all flood the left side this time on this big fourth down play for UDA. The only set in the backfield is Tony Hoover. He's looking to throw. Fires one down over the middle. Man, it's wide open over there. It's caught. Motter all alone in the end zone for six. Way to go. Good. Toss good catch by that Robbie Motter. All right. It's six nothing UDA and a fine, fine series that time by these young fellows. Finished off by that 15 yard pass from Green to Robbie Motter. Good catch, good for six. Extra point try, which will be very, very important in every ball game coming up. Snap looks good. Placement's up, partially blocked. And the score remains. UDA, six. And Williams Valley Viking, nothing here in the first quarter. All right. Mark Mace will do the kicking for the Trojans tonight as he gets set to kick off for the first time and the Trojans go on defense for the first time tonight. He gets the whistle to put the play in and here we go. 55 out there, Shadle on the special teams. And here comes his kick. It is nice, taken back here at the 12-yard line. Up the field he comes with it, and he is going to be tackled out here at the 30-yard line. Nice stop made in there. I think Shadle might have been in on the stop on that time for UDA. And so the Williams Valley Vikings will put it in play first and 10 on their own 30-yard line. So we'll have to see what the Trojan defense looks like tonight. The offense looks like it's uh, pretty much wound up here in the first uh, go anyway. Here's Archer, the quarterback. He'll hand this one off and coming up the middle with it for maybe nothing is uh, number 44. That's that to Brown and Brown gets nothing. It'll be second down and 10. The ball at the 30 will actually did gain maybe half a yard. Third down, we'll have to call it no gain. The stick guy has not moved the stick, so I guess it's third and 10. Archer looking him over again now. Up the middle he goes with it, and this time he's gonna keep it. to be tackled in there by number 34, uh, or number 31 rather. Um, Tom Booth making the stop for UDA. Picked up four on the play, it'll be third down and six. Ball at the 35 yard line. Third and... Uh, 
very long five, just about six. So a big defensive play required here of the Trojans on this third down play. Archer hands it off up the middle, nothing doing. Good tackle in there, any number of Trojans in on the stop. Final getting up in there is that Adam Dietrich, among others out there for UDA. But that did it as the Vikings are able to get four yards in their first series and they'll kick the ball back here to UDA who will send back Enders by himself to receive this punt. He'll be stepping up to around the 26 yard line to get this punt off. And timeout's gonna be called now by the Vikings as they're having a problem getting some men on the field for this punt situation. So there's timeout on the field and the score. UDA six and the visiting Vikings, nothing. 6.33 remaining here in the first quarter. Now we're set to go following the Viking timeout. Here's a kind of a low snap, but he handled it well. Kick goes way wobbly over the far side of the field. It's going and it's going to be downed down here at the 44 yard line. So kind of a squibbly wobbly looking kick gives the Trojans excellent field position at their own 44 yard line where the Trojans will put it in play first and 10. Mark Bates checking out of the ball game for UDA. Green in there who had a super first series here. So we'll see if we can continue that way now. Again, it'll be Hoover as the tailback and uh, Tom Booth as the fullback. Handoff is the Booth. Booth cuts it over the left side. Oh, good drive by Tom Booth picking up about eight. They'll see if they give him eight or will they mark it back. That'll be marked at the 48. He picked up eight. It'll be second down and two. Nice drive that time of that Tom Booth. Picking him up. Quick hitter that time in the right up the middle goes Tom. Motter. Flanks on the far side. Mace on the near side on a second down and two. Hoover's got the call. Hoover has a block, tries to turn the right side, has some running room, blasts his way down inside the 30 or 40 yard line. Probably stopped at the 37, something like that. Another first down for the Trojans, who are really, really taking it right to the Vikings right now. There's no question about that. Uh, Tom can keep himself, uh, or Tony rather, can keep himself healthy out there. Nice run by Hoover. First down, UD. On the 38 of Williams Valley. Five and a half minutes remaining here in the first quarter. Green this time looks like he wants to throw. He's looking down over the middle. It is complete. And he just about got away. Did uh, Robbie Motter a fine catch that time by that Robbie Motter. And he tried to squirm his way loose out there, but just couldn't quite make it. It's a gain of nine. It's a first down on the play. Picked up about 11 on the play. Another first down for UDA. Enders checking into the ball game for the Trojans. So it's first and 10 Trojans. They're on the Viking 28. This time it's Hoover again. Hoover over the left side has some running room and picks himself up some good yardage before he is swarmed under over there. Picking up about five or so. It'll be second down for UDA. Second down and five for the Trojans. Ball now at the 23 yard line of the Williams Valley Vikings. 426 remaining and the clock continues to move on down here in the first quarter that is green to Hoover Hoover try on the left side breaks a tackle and then gets down to about the 20 he'll be gaining only about maybe two on the play we'll see where they spot it inside the 20 at the 19 third down and three coming up for UDA third and three on the Viking 19. Trojans want to get a good first down here and continue this drive. Okay, we'll watch them close up here. Whoops, ball is mishandled, picked up here by Green. Green 
And he's going to be tripped up in the backfield now as the ball came loose, not around the same area where it came loose the last time we were down there. Yeah. Must have, they have an oil slick on the field there, right? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, it's fourth and seven now for the Trojans, and a loss on the play takes them back to the 25 yard line. So a big play required here, the Trojans, and again, they'll send out those three receivers on the far side, Mater Enders and Mace. One man set in the backfield, that is Hoover. Back to pass goes Green, has some time, fires one into the end zone, man's down here and is caught for a touchdown. No flags on the play, and again, this time it is going to be Green, I think, or uh, no, uh, what am I saying, Enders with a big reception that time. Well thrown pass, Enders was out there and hauled it in for the touchdown. He had the defender beat by about three yards at the end of that play. And so Green with another fine pass and another fine reception this time by that Enders. Jimmy making a big catch and giving the Trojans their 12th point. 25 Lodgeslager in the lineup for the extra point try. And this time the Trojans will go for two. And this time it'll be Green looking to throw. Fires one right over here and is caught for the extra point. Complete to the tight end Culva, and Todd holds it in. So we've got a new score on the board, folks. It is now UDA 14, the Williams Valley Vikings. Nothing would have been. Whoa, hold a second. Hold it a second. Illegal procedure called against the Trojans, so that's going to nullify that fine catch. So we are premature. The score is still 12 nothing. And the Trojans will get to try it again, this time from the eight yard line. It's an illegal procedure call against UD. So we'll just try it again. <clears throat> okay, here we go, the extra point try again. Green rolls, looking, rolling, getting a rush, fires right to the end zone, it is incomplete, and so the real score yeah, is UDA 12, and the Vikings nothing, 251 remaining here in the first period, the Trojans have scored twice in two uh, possessions, so can't beat that, we'll be back with the UDA kickoff here in just one moment. That last pass completion has set a new record here at UDA for Stephen Green, 211 pass completions, and it's a new career record here at UDA. So we congratulate Stephen Green and uh, all of his good receivers, those 211 receivers that caught those passes that Stephen threw, but he is throwing very, very well. And now we'll see what the kick looks like. Here it comes, Mesa's kick, all the way back here to the 15. To the 20, 25, up to the 30, and then he's going to be dragged down. The ball comes loose, and I think the Trojans might have that football. Let's see how they rule it, though. No, they're going to say he was down back there. Okay, they blew him down at the 31. So, boy, that would have been disastrous for the Vikings had the Trojans been able to recover a fumble, but they ruled he was down and in the grasp of, uh, I think it looked like Modder was one of them out there. So, anyway, it is first and 10, the Vikings on their own 31-yard line. Archer hands this one off. 20 is hit immediately. Heberling's tangled up in there by several black shirts. It looks like Ladenschläger might have met him first in there. We've got another fellow getting up off the bottom of that pile, and that is Dietrich. So they have combined for the stop out there with a the help from their friends. It is no gain on the play, second down and 10. 220 left here in the opening period. See what the Vikes can do with this one on a second and 10. Archer pitches it over there for that number 20, Heberling. He goes around the right side. Now he's got some good running room. Out to the 40 yard line, but there is a flag on the play. And this one might come back with a hold, generally, or a block in the back, something like that. Let's see. Hold against the Vikings. So that'll 
march them back a bit and uh, nullify that first good run that the Vikings have had. He picked up about eight yards on the play, but the penalty is going to take him back. And uh, let's see, hold is the call, and they're going to take the ball all the way back to the 26-yard line of the Vikings and make it second down and 15. Second and 15 now for the, Vi for the Vikings. He's throwing, dumps one over the middle, it is incomplete. And a flag on the play. A couple of Trojans got tangled up with him that time. So this probably will go against UDA as pass interference, but we'll see. Interference against the Trojans. So that's going to cost the Trojans there as the pass was underthrown. Defended out there, about two or three Trojans around the receiver, but uh, somebody interfered with them. And that will give them what should be probably a first down. It's automatic first down. First down at the 41 yard line. So it'll be first and 10 Vikings on their own 41 yard line. One minute, 47 seconds remaining here in the first quarter of the ball game. Archer, he's gonna throw it again. Dumps a little screen over the far side. It is complete or incomplete. It looks like it's going to be 46 yard line a completion for six it'll be second down and four second and four for the vikings on the viking 46 yard line Again, Archer looking, dumps a little screen over this way to 42. He's down right here at the 49-yard line. He'll be short of the first down by about two or three yards. And it'll be third and two. So the Vikings dangerously close to getting into UDA territory for the very first time in the ball game. They're at the 49-yard line of Williams Valley. They have under a minute to play here, 55 seconds remaining. And the clock moving on down. Another play or two, maybe this qu quarter. Third and two. Up the middle with it. He gets two and then some. This is uh, Mace trying to track him down. He's going to pull him down inside the 20-yard line. Oh, a big play on a third and two. And they hit that Heberling, and boy, he took off right up the middle, past several Trojans, and into the clear. It was only Mark Mace who finally brought him down back there. But another uh, big uh, play on this drive, and the drive carrying the ball all the way down inside the 20-yard line. So the Trojans have got to tighten up the defense now as it's first and 10. With 25 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Archer hands this one off, Heberling again, this time driving it to the 15-yard line. Maybe the 14, see where they spot it. Yep, at the 14-yard line, gain of five on that play, almost. It'll be second down and a long five. Did it as the first quarter comes to an end. So the Trojans getting hard pressed on defense at the moment, but they do own a 12-0 lead here at the end of one. Second and five now as the Vikings put it in play here in beginning of quarter number two. Archer, Archer again, little dump over here at the 12 and he's going to be dragged out of bounds. Ball will be at the seven yard line. So the Vikings now with a first and goal from the seven yard line. The Vikes have gotten their offense cranked up now and threaten to make this game just a little bit closer here now as we play in the early going of the second quarter. Second and goal from the seven. <clears throat> Brown and Heverling in the backfield. Archer keeps this one. Oh, the ball's loose in there, but I think they might have fallen on it at the four. 
Wow. Something about that end of the field. The Trojans fumbled twice down there. Now the Vikings let loose, let it loose, and uh, the ball will be spotted at the four. It'll be second and goal from the four. So we'll find out what we can do here on the defense to hold them off here. This time Archer has shut in there, number 42 in the backfield. This is going to be uh, Heverling. Heverling drives it to maybe the two. See where they mark him. Looks like it's going to be at the two. Third and goal coming up now for the Vikings. Trojan defensive outfits got to really, really dig in here now. During that line in there is Dietrich along with uh, Weiss. Langhans over there, 59. Hand over to Heberling. He's not going to make it on that one. They're going to have to do it on the fourth try because now the Trojans have held them at about the one. If we can hold them here. Again, those fellas out there doing one heck of a job so far here. It's fourth and goal from the one. Fourth and goal from the one yard line. Big play here. They tried it up the middle. They're inching their way, but they need about a yard. And we'll see what happens here now. Here's Archer with it. He's going to hand it off here, and he's not going to make it. And the Trojans come up with a big defensive play. Big, big, big defensive play there as he tried to spin off the left side, and one of the Trojans coming up there making a big stop on him. First down, UDA on their own two-yard line. Jimmy Enders credited with that stop over there, and boy, what a big one that was. Here's Green from his end zone, handing it off over here to Hoover. Hoover racing it all the way out here to the nine yard line, picking up about seven on the play. It'll be second down and three. Uh, good gain that time for that uh, Anthony Tony Hoover. And it is second and three. <laughs> second down and three. Green handing this one off to uh, Booth this time up the middle Booth with the first down to the 15 yard line a first down for UDA as Booth drives it ahead for about five yards and gives the Trojans another first down out at the Trojan 15 yard line going to the big fullback that time and he picked up the necessary yardage for the first down. Jimmy Enders checking into the ball game for UD. He and Mace will flank out on the far side of the field on his first and 10 from the UD 15. Hoover again with it, and this time he is not getting much on that one. Back to the line of scrimmage, and maybe that's all. It'll be second down for UD. Second and 10. That time they held uh, Tony. And they'll make it a second and ten. Second and ten. Green's going to dump one out of here. He's going to throw a little screen over here to Booth. Booth breaks the tackle, but then he's going to be tackled out around uh, the 16. Not much on that one. Third down and nine for UD. Third and nine coming up. Hoover's going to check out of the ball game now for the Trojans. And we'll see what we can do as they split them out again on this side. Mace, Green, and Motter all flanked on the near side of the field. Back to pass he goes. He's looking. Fires one over the middle. It is complete to Robbie Motter. Could be close to the first down. It's going to be a first down. With this spot over here, it is a first down for UDA, I would think. Let's see what they say. Looks like a first down to me. It is a first down. Good play that time. Good job that time by that Robbie Motter. And another fine pass from Stephen Green. 
The ball will be spotted out at the 31 yard line of UDA. First and 10 Trojans. Big play, big, big play that time, picking up that third down. Here comes Hoover. Hoover breaks a couple of tackles, dives ahead for a yard or two. They'll give him a yard or so, maybe a yard and a half. It'll be second down. And uh, we'll give him what? Second down and nine. Couldn't get going that time. A couple of Vikings right there. And uh, Anthony was able to get a little bit out of what appeared to be nothing for a second there. So it'll be second and nine. 6.15 left here in the first half. Trojans on their own. 26 yard line up the middle with it goes Booth this time Booth will drive it to the 30 yard line picking up about three on the play it'll bring up third down now let's see they put it at the 31 now third down five for UDA third and five <laughs> 50 out there is that uh, Travis Wiest for UDA <laughs> Over 36, Dietrich 54. Here we go. Big third down play again for UD. Green has some time. Fires one over the right side. Oh, man, it's out here. It's going to be Mace. Mace on the run. Mace, oh, tripped up. Oh, 14. 14 got a hold of him here and stopped a touchdown. Mark Mace with a fine catch, another great pass from that Stephen Green to Mark Mace, and boy, Mace ripping down the field here. Just got a shoestring tackle put on him by that 14. You got to give that kid credit. I don't have his name, but one heck of a stop by one for the Williams Valley Vikings. The ball at the 22-yard line of Upper Dauphin. First and 10, UDA. Handoff, hey, hold it, hold everything, flags all over the place. False start on UDA. False start on the Trojans, move, uh, move them back five, so it'll be first and 15. Enders, flanks on the far side of the field for UD on this play. Handoff here is to Booth, or to Hoover rather, Hoover breaking some tackles, gets down here to the, what is it? The 20, uh, 22 yard line, I guess it is. Yeah, about the 22 yard line. Gain of six on the play, it'll be second down and nine for UD. Ball on the 20, 21 yard line, make that. Ball's on the 21, second down and nine. Head off to uh, Booth, and Booth slams ahead down near the 15-yard line. It'll be close. This game will get vicious out there. You can bet on that. Stephen Green has the passing 3,103 or something like that. Stephen Green, the QB, and he'll get a lot more before this season ends for sure. Third down and four. Coming up for UDA, third and four, the ball now on the 16-yard line. Yeah, let's keep this going, boys. We could use six. Pitch back over here for Hoover. Hoover cuts it inside. Hoover down to the 10. Hoover down to the five. Touchdown! No flags on the play. I don't believe there is there. Nope. Hold everything. There is a hold on UDA. This one's coming back. This one is coming back. Wow. This one's coming back, and that's disappointing for the Trojans. Hoover with a good run around the right side over there. Took it in from 16 yards out, but this one's coming back. Now on the hold, it'll bring it back here to around the 21 or 20 yard line, which will bring up a third down and eight. So it's third and eight. Hoover's got to check out of the ball game now. What a night he's having again here for UDA. Third down and eight for the Trojans. 
They go into their passing offense, looking back to throw, fires one over this way. It is complete, I think. Yes, he caught it at the eight yard line. Jimmy uh, Anders with a great catch. Wow, Jimmy picking that one up almost off the grass. Wow. First and goal Trojans at the eight yard line. Three minutes, five seconds remaining. The clock is set in motion. And here comes the, uh, Hoover with the play for UDA. The ball will be on the eight yard line, first and goal Trojans. Better hurry up and get this play off here now. They're taking a little bit of time to get this one in here now. First and goal from the eight. Handoff, Hoover, Hoover around the left side. Bursting down to the five yard line. It's gonna keep the clock running. Down at the five, it'll be second and goal from the five yard line for UDA. Second and goal from the five. Second and goal from the five. Stephen Green, ready. Hands it off here to Hoover. Hoover down to the three. Third and goal for the Trojans. Third and goal for UDA. Well, we'll see what they decide to do here on a third and goal. Abhi Mater checking into the ball game for UDA. Put Mace out on the far side of the field. Mater on the near side of the field. This time it's Hoover again. Hoover trying to turn the left side. And down to maybe the one. Wow, maybe two. Fourth down coming up now for the Trojans. Fourth and goal. Wow. Huge play coming up here now for the Trojans. 38 seconds remaining. The Trojans are going to let it come down here and then take a timeout, apparently. And that's going to do it. So they got to call time UDA with 32 seconds remaining here as Tim Savage will bring a play in here for the Trojans. And we'll see what we got up our sleeve here on a fourth and goal from the two. Well, here we go with a huge play here that will probably end the first half. Play won't start till or the clock won't start. Here comes Hoover. Nope, he's not going to do it. So both teams have held at the goal line. So the Trojans held the Vikings here just moments ago. And this time the Vikings hold the Trojans on the two. So it'll be first and 10 for the Vikings on their own two yard line now with 27 seconds remaining here in the first half of the ball game. What a great first half the Trojans have enjoyed here. Putting on 12 unanswered points here in the first half and hold everything. Timeout Williams Valley. Okay, the Viking timeout is over, and they'll put it in play with 27 seconds remaining here. A halftime break <laughs> will include the crowning of the Queen, since this is homecoming night here at UDA. Up the middle with it goes Archer. He's going to spin himself loose. He gets all the way out here to about the seven before he's stopped in there by Mace. And we got 15 seconds remaining, and the clock moving on down. Whether the Vikings will just simply allow it. Now they're going to call timeout, I think. Yeah, they are. They're going to use the timeout. With five seconds remaining, they'll run one more play. Okay, here we go on that final five-second play by the Vikings. They're going to rush it up the middle. And that's going to do it. So the tr Vikings, I guess, figured what the heck. They have timeouts coming. They're going to use them. They ran a play up the middle from... 80 or 94 yards away. Anyway, at the end of one half of our foot here at uh, UDA, teams are back. It's uh, the Trojans to kick off to the Vikings. 
Hoover, Dietrich, and Green are the co-captains for UDA tonight. We missed them in the first half with trying to get some names for the Vikings. So anyway, uh, we're ready to kick off. Ready to kick off here are the Trojans to these vicious Vikings of Williams Valley. So let's see if we can kick it deep and hold them there and get that ball back. Heberling and Brown back deep to receive the kick for the Vikings as the Trojans count the men here and they're going to send uh, Weist, Travis Weist still come off the field now. Apparently the Trojans had a one man too many out there. Now they're set as Mark Mace has it teed up and we'll set to go for the second half action here. The Trojans leading 12 nothing and the uh, Vikings uh, coming alive here in the latter part of that uh, first half. So we want to see if they've drooped at halftime or are they going to be hot with the ball? We'll find out here as this kick comes down here to the 15 yard line. It's Heverling to the 25 and he'll be dumped out around a 30. Good hit made in there by several uh, Trojans, including Hoover and that uh, Brock Stone on the stop. Sims jogging off here along with Harmon, Matthew Harmon, number 20. And we're set to go now in a first and 10 for the Vikings. They'll spread them out on the near side of the field as Archer goes to work from his own 30 yard line. Archer still has it, pushes it back here now to Heverling. Heverling is going to be hit after a gain of maybe two. Stone coming up there along with uh, Mace to make the stop. Also, uh, Colby Lodgelegger around the area. But Mason Stone dropping after a gain of two. It'll be second and eight. Ball at the uh, 32 yard line of Williams Valley. Trojans go with that five man defensive front line there on a second and eight. 44 has it and Brown drives it to the 40 or 35 yard line. Just shy of the 35 perhaps. Gate of a couple more on the play. It'll be third down and five and another big third down play coming up for the Trojan defense here now. So they want to hold the Vikings here on this first series as they did the first time the Vikes got the ball in the first half. So third and five should be able to contain them here. We hope we'll see. Third down and five. QB wants the throw. Fires one over this way. It is complete, but it's going to be short. Shut has the uh, reception, but the ball is going to be short. He's going to be short by nearly two. It'll be fourth and two. So the Trojans presumably will get the football back here. We'll see. It's on the 38 yard line of Williams Valley. And uh, we're gonna see how they line it up here. They're gonna go for it. They're going for it on a fourth and two. Trojans need to stop him here if we can. Get that ball back in excellent field position. He's gonna try to rush it ahead. And boy, I don't know. That forward spot will be the tail of the, tail of the tape here in this one. It is going to be very close. They'll, where'd he set it? Oh my. There's your football. There's your stake. I say he's short by about uh, the width of the line out there. So we'll see what happens here as they're going to call for the measurement. And the, looks from here as though they might be short by about three inches, but we'll see. Put a little closer here and take a look at this. Well, if Robert Mott or Robbie Mott, yeah, it's short. There you go, by about the width. So the old eyes aren't going totally bad. <laughs> my optometrist will be glad to hear that. Anyway, anyway, it is a great stop there by UDA as Archer tried to sneak for the two yards and didn't get it. So the Trojans not a see if they can capitalize on that. They get the ball on the 40 yard line, first and 10 for UDA. Say hello to my buddy John, recuperating back there in uh, Wiganisco. John, I know that was a call you wouldn't like. 
<laughs> Here comes Hoover. Hoover is tackled in the backfield for a loss of a yard on the play. Just couldn't make the cut. There was nothing there but white shirts. And so he loses a yard. It'll be second down and 11. I mentioned it is uh, homecoming, and that's why you see the cars driving along the track on the far side over there. Here we go on a second and 11. Green dumps a little screen over this way. It's complete to Enders. Enders breaks the tackle and gets it down here to the 25-yard line. Good pass. Another good catch by Jimmy Enders and a nice pass by Stephen Green. 17 yards on the play, and the ball will be spotted at the 24-yard line of Williams Valley. Boy, a score would look big here. Let me tell you. Tom Booth has the fullback. Hoover, the tailback. Hoover has it up the middle. He goes with it. Picks up a couple of yards down to the 21. It'll be a gain of about uh, four. Second down and six. Second and six. The court's coming by here. And it is a bevy of beauties if I've ever seen it. Seen one. Okay. Here we go on a second down and six. Green, wait a minute, fumble on the play. Williams Valley has recovered this one for sure. The Vikings have recovered the football on the the 27-yard line, so it's first and 10. Vikings as the Trojans turn it over. Uh, I believe for the first time, I'll check. First turnover of the night, and the ball belongs to Williams Valley now as uh, Archer. Hands it up. Here's a football loose here. The Trojans have got it right back again. Trojans have got it right back again as Ladenschlager, I believe, came up with that one. Colby looking awfully happy as though he might have just recovered that fumble. I think he did. And so the Trojans take advantage of the loose ball and they get it back on the 29-yard line. So the Trojans go right back to business on offense here now. I would play last time they created a fumble. There was some mix up in the backfield. They kind of ran in each other and the Vikings were coming. They were blitzing and they uh, just got uh, Stephen Green and he couldn't get rid of it. One fake pass looking deep. Man it is down here. It, man, it is touchdown. Touchdown to Vodder. Tim Robbie Motter with a big catch, a 21-yard touchdown pass to, or 29-yard, I guess it was, to Robbie Motter. Way to go, boys. Way to go, Robbie. And another fine pass from Stephen Green. All right. Now the extra point try, which has eluded the Trojans twice tonight. Now they're going to kick it. They try to kick. They try to run. Now they're back to a kick. Jimmy Enders going to try to kick this one in. Snap, placement start, the kick is up, the kick is good! All right, and there's flags all over the place and you can start to expect this now as the Vikings and the Trojans will start to battle each other and uh, some unnecessary roughness going on, probably personal fouls all around, but we'll see. You know the Vikes aren't going to like this very much and so we'll be checking this out here in just a moment. Your score with seven minutes, 38 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. It is now UDA 19, the visiting Vikes nothing. Personal foul called on the Vikings, and that will be tacked on on the kickoff. So the Trojans, you think this bunch isn't fired up now, huh? They're fired up for sure. They've still got a long way to go. We got a minute and a half, or a period and a half almost to go. So uh, the Trojans will kick off now from the 45-yard line of Williams Valley. They'll be kicking from the Williams Valley 45. From there, if Mace gets a good kickoff, you ought to be able to kick this one over to Barrysburg. Anyway, we'll be back with a kick here in just a moment. This is a big rivalry, and the Trojans have been beat up by these Vikings for last several years. So uh, we'll see if the Trojans can hang in there now and get a good kickoff here and drive them way back. 
Here's the kick. It's a nice kick, goes all the way back into the end zone, out of the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20-yard line. First and 10, no run back, a touchback, and the Vikes will put it in play on their own 20. First and 10 Vikes on their own uh, 20. Archer hands this one off. It's going to be Heberling around the right side. He's got some running room and gets out to the 27-yard line, or 28 maybe. Good gain on the play. It'll be second down and two. Second and two. Now the ball at the 28 of uh, the Vikings. 7-17 remaining here in the third quarter. The clock continues to move on down. <clears throat> Archer this time will hand it to the first man and that didn't do anything as number 44 Brown is uh, stopped almost immediately. Ran into several Trojan tacklers out there and went down almost immediately. It'll be third and two, no gain on the last play. In fact, a little bit of a loss. Third down. And uh, a long two. Archer this time looking to throw. Fires one over this way. It is incomplete, intended for Heverling. But over his head and over his outstretched arm, so it'll bring up a fourth down. And uh, again, the Vikings looking at a fourth down and a long two. And the Trojans will send back uh, Mace and... Enders to uh, take care of this punt. Good snap and a good punt. Much better this time. Nice high kick taken here at the 35. Enders to the 41. And that's where the Trojans will put it in play first and 10 on their own 41 yard line. Trojans going to work on their own 41. Flankers out on both sides of the field this time as uh, Hoover gets the call. Hoover cuts it upfield and gets maybe three to the 44-yard line. It'll be second down and seven. Anthony found a hole there, got himself three. It'll be second and seven. Mark Mace jogging into the ball game to take the play in for UDA. 5.45 left here in the third. <clears throat> Clock's not that important now, but uh, it'll become very important next quarter. Here's uh, Hoover again. Hoover driving it ahead this time all the way out to the 49-yard line. It'll be short by maybe a yard or two. It'll be spotted just shy of the 50-yard line. It's third down and a long yard or maybe two. What a good chance for the Trojans to get themselves another first down play here. And then continue on as Jimmy Enders, who has played well tonight as of all the Trojans, jogs into the ball game. It's a third down yard or so, maybe yard and a half. <clears throat> Playing right out, basically right out in front of us here now. <laughs> Whoa, offsides, and that'll be a first down for the Trojans. Yeah, that'll get you. First and 10 for UDA. Offside the call, Trojans with a first down. Bark, uh, mark the ball down at the 45 yard line now of the Vikings, first and 10 UD. First and 10 UDA on the Viking. Here's Hoover. Hoover making some tackles. Hoover, look out. Hoover could go all the way. He's down to the 10 goal. It is a touchdown. Beautiful touchdown for Anthony, the big T, Tony Hoover. Big, big play. That was about uh, yep. yard touchdown run for Tony Hoover. Way to go, Trojans. It's now 25 nothing with another extra point try coming up. Boy, Hoover, when he got into the secondary there, he was on the go. He could move it out. All right, we're going to try another kick this time. Jimmy Ender's going to see if he can go two for two. 
Whoops. No, I think we might have offsides called on the on the Vikings. Look like the left side of that line might have jumped off sides. They did. So now they'll move it a yard and a half ahead to the one and a half yard line. And they'll try it over. Gonna kick it. Mr. Green wants to know if they're gonna kick it. Say, yeah, what the heck. All right. So again, Jimmy Enders called upon to uh, kick one in now from a yard and a half out. Doesn't really matter. You just got to get a good snap, get the ball up. Snap's good. Placement's down. Kick is up. Kick is no good. Nope, no good. So it's 25 nothing UDA, and we'll be back with the Upper Dolphin kickoff here in just one moment. Trojans striking twice here in the second half. Now have a good, what you'll ever say, commanding against these Vikings. 25 nothing lead with 424 remaining in the third quarter. Well, base has it teed up again now for the Trojans following their fourth touchdown here tonight. And he will be kicking off this time from his own 40 rather than no penalties on the other play. Here's a kick. Comes right down here. Picked off out there at about the 17 yard line. Up the middle he goes with it. Heberling gets to the 30 and that's going to be it. As he is mobbed under down there at the 30 yard line. Heading off towards the bottom of the play is and helping him up actually. Looks like the green and uh, 67 Sims out there helping to make that stop. Boy, have these guys played some kind of a ball game here tonight. Following a super game last week against Millersburg, which I did not see. But a great one here tonight so far. First and ten. Archer hands it off. Up the middle with it goes Heverling. And boy, has a nice drive all the way out for about seven or eight yards. Out to the 39-yard line. It'll pick up eight. It'll be second down two for the Vikes. So the Trojan defense has to keep her tight in there, and they will. <clears throat> Second and two. In motion comes a man over this way. Handoff up the middle with it goes Heverling again. He has the first down as he gets to the 43 or 44 yard line, something like that. Lundschläger and uh, Tom Booth stopping him for UD. At the 43, it is first and 10 Vikings. Three and a half minutes remaining here in the third. Uh, there's Heverling trying to turn it up. So, I mean, he's not going to do anything that time as he is met out there pretty early by uh, 54 uh, Dietrich. And uh, Dietrich really turning him up field. Adam doing a heck of a job that time. Make the initial hit on him. Loss of a yard or two. Be second down and 12. <clears throat> Archer pitches it over this way, over everything. Let's see who's got this one. It's going to be, yeah, big loss all the way back to the 30 yard line. Heverling that time took the pitch and uh, kind of lost the handle on or whatever. And the ball will be spotted at the 30 yard line where it'll bring up a third down. And uh, let's see, third down and 23, yeah. Third and 23, it looks like from here. <laughs> a lot, a lot, yeah. Quarter of an acre, a lot, okay. <laughs> yep, here we go on a big third and long for the Vikings. He's gonna throw, he's looking. Fires one down this way, it is incomplete. Incomplete, intended for Grenya. But Grenya drops the football. And that's gonna do it for the Vikes now as they'll be punting the ball out of there. The Trojans should get the ball back in really good field position. They'll send um, 21 Whitmer over the far side. If you Joe Whitmer on the far side of the field and uh, 
Jimmy Enders on the near side of the field to receive this Viking punt. Whoa, hold everything. We've got penalty here on uh, 89, I think it was. Well, five more yards penalty. He'll punt now from about his own. He'll be stepping up to around his own 15 to get this one off. And there it goes. It's high, but not real deep. Trojans will have to get away from this one. Let's see what happened. Enders. We hope he caught it. Let's see what they say. Yep, yeah, Trojans have it. Jimmy taking a big chance on that one. It was real high. You knew you were going to get some Viking coverage on it for sure, but Jimmy uh, attempted to make the catch and then kind of shook it loose, but he recovered it, and uh, the Trojans have it at the 48-yard line of Williams Valley. Again, excellent field position for the Trojans to start this series with a minute 44 left in the third. A minute 44 remaining here in the third quarter. Trojans up 25 zip. Here he comes and Hoover spins away from a couple of tacklers and he gets a, well then there's another loose ball. Let's see who has this one. Trojans have it. Trojans have it, loss of three on the play. It'll be second down and 13. Second and 13. Call for the tight end in there for UD. Don't go to him very much. We'll hold everything here. This is going to be on the Trojans the way it looks from here. The illegal procedure called against Judy. That'll march them back and make it a second down and 18 for the Trojans. Second and 18. Ball now at the 44 yard line of UDA. They start the clock with inside of a minute to play here in the third. 50 seconds left. So let's see what happens here now. Here we go. Back to pass goes Green, dropping straight back. Fires one over the far side. It is complete to Anders, I think it is, or to, no, to uh, Mace, rather. And Mark made the reception. Gain on the play of, let's see. Are you sure? About six, actually. Be third down and 11. Clock counting down, the Trojans have elected to uh, let it, let it come down and uh, go to the end of the quarter. So at the end of three quarters of the ball game, a, a good UDA score here. It is UDA 25, Williams Valley nothing, and we'll be back with the final 12 minutes of play here in just one moment. We're about set to go with the final quarter here at UDA as the Trojans looking at a third and nine. So the Trojans have been successful on big plays all night long tonight. So let's see what they do with this one. They put Mace out on the far side of the field on this play. Two receivers on the near side. Enders and Motter. Back to pass goes Green. He's looking, has some time now, still looking. Dumps one over this way. It is complete to Motter, and Motter will be short of the first down. It'll be at the 43-yard line. Another pass completion from Green to Motter. It'll be fourth down and, well, fourth and five anyway. Fourth and five, so the Trojans look like they're going to punt and hold those guys back there. We'll see. Whitmer in the uh, ball game on the punting, situ or punting situation. Mason put ready to punt it off here for Beauty A. See if he can get a good punt off. Put one into the end zone. Good snap. Here's the kick. High and wobbly. Goes over the far side over there and out of bounds. About a 10 or 12 yard punt from Mace that time. Not a very good one as Mark shanked it off the inside of his foot. And they're going to mark it at the 32 yard line. So it'll be first and 10 for the Vikings on their own 32 yard line. <clears throat> Booth coming off the field for UDA. Okay, let's see what the Vikings do with it. First and ten. Probably. 
Archer hands it off and up the middle with it goes Heverling and Heverling has the ball come loose. No, they're gonna rule it was down. They're gonna say it was down. Oh no, they're not. They're gonna give it to the Trojans. Whoa, the ball squirted out. You can see it plainly do that. And they're ruled that it came out of there and the Trojans have the football at the Viking 30 or 38 yard line. First and 10, UDA. Boy, a big, big turn of events right there for UDA. 67 Sims in there for the Trojans. 54 is Dietrich. Here we go from the 38. And hold everything again here. Now what do they have? See that uh, Heberling, Heberling rushes in, or uh, Heberling, I beg your pardon. Um, whatever that, uh, I can't think of his name, I will, I'll come to it here. Oh, Radaichak starts charging in there like a bull. Uh, the Trojans have a habit of reacting to that. And they get called for motion and five yards penalty, so it'll be second and 15. Somebody in the line move a little bit. Second and 15. Hold everything. I think we've got to do it again to make it a second and or first and 20 maybe. Yeah. First and 20. Now the Trojans going in reverse here. First and 20 for the Trojans. It just makes the job a little tougher, but let's see if they... Trojans can do it now. They'll back uh, Mater out here just a little bit. Pitches over this way for Hoover. Hoover around the right side to the 45, to the 40, to the 35, and down to the 32-yard line he goes. It'll be short of the first down. There is a penalty flag back here, however, where holding generally shows up. It is holding against you. So the Trojans with three penalties in a row here now. And they're kind of shooting themselves in the foot. Another fine run there by uh, Tony Hoover, but nullified by the hold. That's going to take the ball way back to about the 44-yard line of the uh, Trojans. And that's where they'll put it. The 46-yard line, I beg your pardon. 46. And it'll be first and 25. Well, still first down. That's the good news for the Trojans. Back to throw goes Green. Air one out. Fires one down the field. Enders out here. It's caught. Jimmy Enders with a great catch at the 22-yard line. A great catch by Jimmy Enders for the first down on a first and 25, and the Trojans have got it. Wow, can you believe that? First and 25, and the pass is complete. Enders out there had his man beat by a yard or two and brought it in and is tackled at the 22-yard line. First and 10 UDA. Boy, what a ball game these guys are putting together tonight. It is homecoming, and they're showing off. <laughs> I don't know, but it looks good. Yep, up the middle with it goes Hoover. Hoover driving it down to around the 17, something like that. Pick it up, four on the play, it'll be second and six. 9.30 remaining here in the ball game. 59 Langans over there, opening some holes up on the right side of that line. Green hands it off. Hoover spins around the side and gets it to the 15-yard line, where he is bumped back. Gain of uh, maybe uh, two. Third and four for the Trojans now. The ball on the 15-yard line of the uh, Vikings. Third down, four. Well, let's see what the Trojans can do in his third and four. Looks like Lodenschlager's lined up as the fullback in there. Here comes Hoover around the right side. He's not going to get much out of this. Well, let's see. Where are they going to stop him? Stop him. 
They give him the line of scrimmage for the forward progress, which will bring up a fourth down, fourth and four. So the Trojans have faced moments like this before this ball game and have been successful. Let's see what they do here now. Fourth and, well, just about five. Might have lost a yard on a play or close to it. So let's see what happens. Where's our field goal kicker when we need him? No. <laughs> okay, fourth down, here we go. Can we get enough for the first down? Now he's gonna tuck it, now he's got, oh, he's got plenty of running room. 15, down to the 10, down to the five, and hit at the five yard line. All right, it is first and goal UDA on the Viking five yard line. Great to go, Stephen Green, finding no one open, tucked it away and had a couple of Trojan blockers over there and made some headway down to the five. It's first and goal UDA, first and goal on the five. 720 remaining here in the ball game. Here we go. Langelager remains in there as the fullback for UDA behind Green. Tony Hoover behind him. Seven minutes remaining. Here's Hoover. Hoover takes it down to the three or two, whatever. It'll be second and goal from the three, make it. Second and goal from the three yard line. Second and goal from the three. Again, this is Hoover, Hoover. Looks like he might have enough room. He goes in unimpeded. All right, way to go, UDA. All right. Another big TD for the Trojans and for Tony Hoover going in from three yards out and making the score now, UDA 31 and the Williams Valley Vikings nothing and another extra point try coming up here. The Trojans have tacked on six touchdowns tonight and have been successful an extra point once. So, Here's the kick, it looks good from here, it is good! Way to go! So the Trojans getting it all their way tonight. Now lead by a score of 32 to nothing against these Williams Valley Vikings and we'll be back with the Trojan kickoff here in just one moment. You can tell the Trojans here just having a little huddle up as they decide what to do after the uh, touchdown, you know, as they get set put the ball back in play again now with Mace kicking off, but as uh, Coach Bralick, uh released them from the uh, sidelines here, you can see the whole huddle's just kind of popping up in the air. These guys are hot tonight, so we've got six minutes, ten seconds remaining here, and we'll be watching Mark Mace kick this one off here, and here it comes, and there it goes. Nice kick. Take it at the 15, and up the middle he comes with it, out to the 32, and that's where he is stopped out there as uh, Brock Stone. Stone had a hold of him along with uh, Tom Booth, and the ball will be put in play at the 32-yard line, so the Vikings will go on a first and 10 from their own 32. 6.03 remaining here in this contest. Archer hands it off up the middle and Brown gets some nice yardage out to the 40 yard line or around there, maybe the 41. They'll put it on the 41 yard line, gain of nine on the play. So it'll be second down and one. You see number 21 in there, Joe uh, Whitmer for UDA, 25, Ladenschlager. 36 is Culva, plays the defensive end position now for UDA. On a second down and a yard. Whoop, the ball is loose. Oh, it looks, let's see, who's got it? I'm not sure. The Trojans have the football. I'm not sure who came up with it, but I'm sure the Trojans did. And so UDA with yet another Viking turnover, giving the Trojans another great field position here at the 43-yard line of the Vikes. And so the Trojans 
putting some new blood in there now as Whitmer, Joe Whitmer in there all as a uh, offensive player for UDA. He's a good, good JV player, and he gets a chance now. Sims remains in there, 67 for the Trojans. In the backfield, Joe Whitmer lines up as the tailback this time. And Whitmer has it. Up the middle he goes, and he drives himself ahead for about three or four. Joe picks up three. Kyle Weiss into the ball game. 87 is uh, Kevin Troutman. Kevin Troutman, 87. He'll be one of the receivers, as is number 20 here. Matt Harmon, <clears throat> flanker on the near side of the field. The Trojans taking as much time as they possibly can. And now they're set. Again, it's going to be Whitmer. Whitmer knocked down right at the 40-yard line. Who is this big fella in here? 60. Oh, that's Weiss. Okay. Yep, Kyle Weiss is 60. Coming into the ball game, number six is Kyle Motter for UD. Motter and Harmon flank out on the far side of the field this time for UDA on this third down and seven. Watching that clock tick on down exactly four, just inside of four minutes now. Here's Whitmer. Whitmer uh, crying the right side here, and then he's going to be dragged down here at the 37. Gain of maybe two or three on the play. It'll bring up a fourth down situation, and the Trojans will punt the ball out of there. So UD will give it up on the Viking 37-yard line. <clears throat> Mace drops back to punt the ball for UDA. Well, we got motion on the Trojans. Cost them five. It moves the ball back to the 42-yard line. The same situation, though, as the Trojans will punt from five yards deeper now. Mark will be stepping up to about the 49-yard line to get this one off. And he does. Angles it over this way. Let's see if we can get a good UD bounce. Well, not really. So it's down at the 17-yard line. Jimmy Enders downing the ball for UD. The Vikes will put it in play with two minutes and 54 seconds remaining in this ball game. And the Trojans dominating from the onset tonight from the outset of this ball game. Well, <clears throat> okay, the Vikings with uh, some new blood in there now also. He hands this one off and 39 tries the right side, but he's pretty much gang tackled over there as uh, Shadel, 55 over there. Helping to make the stop along with that Brock Stone. And uh, it's going to be Langhans coming out of the ball game now for UDA. He has played one heck of a ball game both on offense and defensive line out there. Ryan doing a good job. First and ten. UD. Quarterback is Harmon, I think. Yeah, Matt hands this one off to Whitmer. Whitmer trying this side over here, but he's going to be hit in the backfield. Matt Harmon in there because Skyler Foltz would normally be in there at QB, but Skyler is one of the walking injured here on the sidelines. And uh, you can bet Skyler's going to feel bad about this ball game and being injured and not being able to play. But uh, Harmon. Hands it off and they lose two on that play. But 36 seconds remaining. Matt, in his first, I'm sure, 
varsity quarterback spot. Whitmer dives ahead for a couple of yards to the 35. 22 seconds remaining. So this game just about all but over. Trojans may get to run one more play. They're thinking about it, but I think they'd, they'd like to. Matt says, should we just let it run down? And they might. Seven seconds, six, that's gonna do it. Final score here tonight. The UDA Trojans for the first time in several years defeating the Williams Valley Vikings by a final score of 32 to nothing. And boy, I'll tell you, if this doesn't fire up this black-shirted crowd of Trojans out here, nothing would. They played an excellent ball game tonight. Right from the very get-go, they uh, received the opening kick, took it down, put it home, and they have really, really done a nice job here tonight against the Vikings, who truly are not the Vikings of uh, the last year or so, but boy, doing one heck of a job out here tonight. Yep, so we congratulate the Trojans, congratulate Coach Bailey on another fine outing, and uh, we'll catch you next week right here when they take on those uh, high-flying Eagles from Williams Valley. So until then, Dale Kalnan saying, terrific ball game, keep it up, fellas. Well, now they should know they can do it, and uh, we'll see if they can continue next week. Good night, good ball game. Might add record-setting night for that uh, Stephen Green as quarterback in number of passes and the uh, pass completions. So we uh, congratulate Stephen and uh, all of his receivers and teammates out there. The line who gave him all kinds of time tonight at most, most times, sometimes he really did have to scramble, but for the most part, giving Steven a lot of time to range around down there. And of course he can do that too. He scrambles around, gets himself loose to make those passes and uh, Got to give credit to the entire ball club for one heck of a thing. Another big night for Anthony Hoover and uh, all these fellas. Again, the line very, very responsible for getting him the opening so that he can do this running like he, like he surely showed us he can. So that'll do it. Congratulations all around and good night, good Super Bowl game.